you go to sleep on the 31st of December 2020 and wake up the next day but when you check your phone, it says January 1st, 2020, after the first couple of days you realize it's just like Groundhog Day, what do you do with the information you have about 2020? Get a haircut in February. Start a Twitch slash YouTube channel that predicts 2020 accurately and have everyone think I'm Nostradamus. I'd probably go to California and just tell a couple what gender their kid would be. I can't stop a pandemic but I can halt a wildfire. I don't know, cry, invest, reset, repeat. Sell all the stocks in February and buy Tesla calls in March. I'm gonna be real sad because I just spent the year losing a ton of weight, and I don't want to start over. Off to New Zealand. This is the canonical explanation for the TP hoarders. Back up 4.5 years of PhD research data before an accidental wipe removed all of it back in February. Invest in Zoom, toilet paper, hand sanitizer. Hang out with people while I still can. Not take the little things for granted. Well the cancer was probably already terminal so I'd just try to see my mom before all the flights were cancelled. Show my husband just how much I love him and appreciate him. Hug him longer, kiss him harder, squeeze his warm hands, laugh with him, record his voice, take more pics of him and of us together, not sweat the small stuff, be silly with him, savor every meal he made me, stare into his eyes and marvel in their clarity and sparkle. Lay my head on his chest to hear his heartbeat every day. He died in May at age 31. I'd give anything to wake up tomorrow and see his bright blue eyes. Press the like button. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for future notification. Tell Nevada to start counting mail-in ballots before the election day. I'd tell my dad to go see his doctor. He got his cancer diagnosis in May. Might have had a better shot if they'd found it in January. Tell my grandma not to travel and stay home. I lost her to COVID on Monday. Her death will always hurt due to how preventable it was and how long it been since I've seen her. I will always miss her. Start wearing a mask even if the virus is just around and invest in Amazon. Call my brother since he died in the first week of January. I'd sit my brother down, tell him how much I love him and hug him till my arms give out. I'd tell him how much I miss when we were kids and spent every day together. He was my twin born two years late and I'd give up everything to see him again. I would beg him not to go out that night. I would schedule a camping trip and we'd have so much fun. Press the like button. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for future notification. There's an episode of Doctor Who called Turn Left, where the doctor dies a few years before the year the episode is set, causing mayhem across the world because he couldn't stop calamities that crippled and would eventually end the world. The protagonist of the episode, the doctor's current companion, goes back in time to the episode's divergent point and kills herself in an attempt to ensure that the doctor lives and the timeline is corrected. If I woke up on January 1, 2020, 
I would aim to achieve Donna Noble's goal, preferably without dying, but hey. Why should one life stand in the way of, what, a million now? 2. I would go to the doctor in early January to check on my kidneys. Maybe we could save them. Just like Groundhog Day, eh? Well, some very bad things will happen to some very bad people. And if I get caught, who cares? Just kill myself in jail like Epstein didn't and start over. Press the like button. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for future notification. Say ah shit, here we go again. Spend more time with my friends that killed themselves. I know I wouldn't be able to save them, but I wouldn't have all the regrets I have now. Buy TP, bleach, hand sanitizer, and masks. Don't spend money on the stupid stuff I spent it on last time. Sell stocks at the peak and start my company sooner. I start making as many bets as possible like bet you 100 bucks this will happen. Invest as shit ton in Zoom and Amazon, bet a bunch of money on the Chiefs beating the 49ers in the Super Bowl, bet a bunch of money on the Lakers winning the finals. Get in touch with my OBGYN and tell him my son's going to be born with a heart condition even though you wouldn't be able to see anything on the scans at 10 weeks, 16 weeks, 20 weeks, and 28 weeks. Get in touch with pediatric cardiologists and specialists and give them as much information as I can remember and hopefully do whatever I can to save his life. I'd eat right, rest more, take care of myself more. I'd still accept it if he passed, but at least it would make me feel like I had done everything I could. Press the like button. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for future notification. Spend much more time with my old kitty that passed away on January 2nd and with my old doggo that passed away in September. And spoil them with their favorite treats and lots of fun toys. I miss them so much. This year's been rough. If I start visiting my brother more often in January. Maybe he wouldn't OD in May. I tell my fiancé tell you stay home and quit her job and maybe she wouldn't have gotten sick and died. All of these saddening comments make me realize just how much I've taken this year and my life so far for granted. The saddest story I have for this year is losing my best dog friend I grew up with. Heartbreaking yes, but nothing like some of the stories I've read on here. I hope losing my dog is the saddest story of 2020 I'll have to share, and hopefully the saddest for many many years to come. Wish you all the best fellow reddit nerds x. Forewarn CPS of my old childhood best friend and have them check in on her constantly. We haven't been friends slash spoken in a few years. But she snapped and killed her six-month-old baby this last spring and I would love to spare everyone that pain. I have at least four lives to save. All else is secondary, save those four. Everything else pales by comparison. I'd like to say I would go full action movie hero and try to convince the right people about the incoming virus. But honestly I'd go out every night and dance and party with my friends from January 1st to March 17th. Be ready for my dog's newly developed seizures, cut my boyfriend off from liquor before the pandemic, 
stock up on TP, travel, visit my family more, and prepare all my teaching lessons now that I know the disaster that awaits us. But in reality I would probably do nothing, procrastinate, and let everything turn to shit just like it had because I would be too depressed not to. If that happens, I won't lie. I will just shoot myself. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe.